What up guys, we're, it's the next day here and uh, we're gonna get ready to tint these uh, tail lights. So. so we got this all cleaned off here. Uh, just used some uh, CarPro eraser. So that's left over from ceramic coating uh, my wife's car. So this is a Lux Honeycomb, should be mid smoke, pretty well known uh, tent company. So this is a universal kit, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, they give you plenty of uh, tent to work with, so we're going to kind of measure it out. So there's probably different ways to do this. I'm just going to kind of slap it on here, start in the middle, and work my way out. So. I don't spend too much time on this. Kind of really center it up. nice line in the middle and you kind of want to work your way out and uh, we are going to use a Wagner heat gun today just to make it pliable again I'm trying to keep this honeycomb uh, in line with the center tail because that is the most material we'll be using so Pretty thick wrap too, so it's kind of forgiving in the sense that uh, the creases aren't as present as in your thinner wraps, so it is nice. So here we have great coverage with the tent and we're going to be trimming parallel with the taillight lens. Just uh, be careful of uh, digging into the paint. All right guys, we went ahead and opened up the trunk. That way we could wrap the tent around that uh, taillight's hard edge. Alright guys, well the driver side taillight looks great, no bubbles. We're going to go ahead and move on to the trunk lid. 
We got the linen cut out the back. So uh, let's get started with these quarantine mods. Again, I'm just going to peel it off, kind of center it. This is a larger piece, so hopefully you guys can see the whole thing. This video for you guys, it is a boring process. I'll give you, uh, give you the highlights along the way, so uh, here we go. Yeah, it looks easy. It looks like a flat surface, but it's uh, far from the truth. It has a definitely a curvature to it. So just take your time there. Make sure there's no bubbles. Um, end product will definitely be worth it in the long run. They said some leave the tent over it, but uh, I can see a bubble in there, so I'll be just cutting that out around it. So hopefully you guys can see in the reflection, but I got in a little bit of a bind and uh, put a little too much heat in this area by the trunk release. So don't do what I did. Uh, it took a little bit of work to get out of that jam. So luckily I didn't damage the tent and uh, ruin that huge piece. So. Sorry guys, the old uh, GoPro ran out of battery, so I'll get you back. Let's see, I got the center done. While you're, you're charging. Again, you know, I'm just gonna throw this on. Hopefully this third piece is the last. It's the easiest. Let me tell you that uh, center was a bear. Uh, a lot of material to move, uh, a lot of small places to get into. So, so hopefully this third tip, this faster clear lights a little easier. Not to discourage you guys at home, it is a fairly simple process. Uh, just make sure you take your time, clean the surfaces, clean all the dirt and all the cracks around the tail light, and uh, you'll be fine. I did put a glove on because uh, there's fingerprints all over these this other film, so Maybe I'll do the right thing on the, uh, the last piece of the puzzle. So you know, I'm kind of working the inside center, if you will, of the of the lamp, and then outward. So. Trying to lay the film on, not 
force it into place. You can see it's come along pretty nicely, pretty quickly. Third light should be an easier one for you. For doing it at home. So I call these my uh, quarantine projects. See, there's no way around for at least six to ten feet. So. So some of you guys out there are probably thinking that uh, Carol do it? Who thought uh, 2020? We're sitting there watching a show about uh, big cats. Some of you guys out there, guys and girls, sitting out there in your jammies, watch me work. Wonder when I'm gonna get done so you can see the end product. See the honeycomb coming through the lid. Let's go back to your tiger shows. Give it all I got, Captain. Come on, pretty nicely. This is probably the harder corner to get right here. So I'm gonna kind of pull the film outward. It's just kind of kind of lay it in there. Still a lip on the on the back of this lens. So I kind of gotta work it. Getting heat is your friend. It's just a little out of time. I am using the lowest setting on here. I'm not sure what that is, but there's two uh, settings, low and high. I'm just using. So what up, guys? Uh, the GoPro actually memory card is full. So I went and finished it, finished that right passenger's tail light. So it's not a professional job by any means, but it looks looks pretty good. Um, there's some trash in there, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. So earlier I went ahead and did the side, rear side marker lights. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think.